Christina from Redefine Creative and I am super excited to be back in the new year. So happy 2019. And I am super, super excited because I have some major, big, crazy, scrappy plans starting in January. So there's going to be way more content on my channel, which is going to be so amazing. You guys are really like, truly, it's going to be awesome. All right, so I am back with the Kelly Kit with Style series, and a whole bunch of us ladies have taken on building some stash kits for the month of January. If you click in the little box down below, there's a whole list of ladies that are sharing kits and that they're going to be working with throughout the month, so make sure you check out the other ones um, as well. And so I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I am dealing with a cold again. You guys are going to think that I'm like always sick or something, and I never get sick. Um, but I have been a lot this winter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I have pulled out. And basically where I started was I had the Indigo Hills 2 collection from Pink Fresh Studio. And I haven't got a chance to touch it basically at all. So I started... Let me mix these up here just for a second. I started by pulling out a few of those papers that I wanted to play with. So in order to build this kit off of, basically the place I started, so maybe this will give you an idea of a place to start. So let me pull exactly what I had. Okay, so I had, and I have some other things from this collection, but I didn't pull them out for, for this. So this is what I had. I had the gold foil wood stickers from this collection. And then I have the ephemera pack, which has these pieces. And then the journaling tags, which is these pieces. And I had these, and then I had these papers. So these five papers are all from Indigo Hills 2. So this was the basis of where I started my kit building. I had this group of supplies that I hadn't gotten a chance to play with and I really, really wanted to. So this is where I started. So I'm gonna put the embellishments aside for right now and just talk to you about the papers. So I have this one, which has a really great floral and then a floral with some uh, watercolors on the back. It is called Glen, if you also have Indigo Hills too, and you wanna play along. All right, this one is called Mesa. So again, we've got some floral details with some watercolor. And then kind of a fun um, borderish paper on the back. This one, we've got a herringbone. This is called Eminence. And then this really gorgeous ombre watercolor pattern on the back. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, also from Indigo Hose 2, this is Valley. So it's got the navy background with some white sketch flowers over it. And then a grid with some watercoloring on the back. And we know all these coordinate because they're from the same collection. So this is a good, easy starting spot. The navy with kind of some white paint looking and then a wreath with those same florals. This one is called Meadow. And the reason I pulled and I liked these particular papers, one, they all coordinate, but two, they give me options for masculine and feminine. So I can pull out the florals and do some girl layouts. But I can pull out a paper like this and this and do a very masculine layout. So I have some options. So that's where I started with the papers that I wanted for the month. But I needed more than five. So that's where I went ahead and pulled in some other paper. And so that is the basis. I grabbed a double-sided, this is pink cardstock from Close to My Heart. But it matches really well with the pink that's in the paper. So I've got that. This one is also from Close to My Heart, and it brings in the blues, and then it also gives me a neutral black and white, and this is from the Seasons Mix-In Pack from Close to My Heart, if you are curious. So that's going to give me another opportunity to bring in the blues and purples, and it also gives me another pattern that could be masculine. Also from Close to My Heart, Seasons Mix-In, this one is just a polka dot that's a very pale pink, and it matches really well with the pinks that are already in this collection. And then it's got just a really basic ledger on the back, but I liked that it had green and pink because this particular paper has a lot of green and there's not a lot of green everywhere else. So that gives me a touch of green that I can bring in with that paper. And so then I also grabbed this one, which is from a paper pad, and this is the Heidi Swap Pineapple Crush, 
which is going to give me another opportunity to bring in some of that green. So I'm looking or was looking for colors like in this paper that weren't represented somewhere else that I could pull in more color and add more variety to my kit. This one is an ombre kind of pinkish and corals from that same Pineapple Crush collection. Also goes really well um, with those flowers. So I kind of can get the oranges in here and the pinks. So that was a good fit. This one is from that same paper pad, giving me a black and white text. I always like to have a text in my kit because that's something that I will often go to and use. So I'm just kind of building my variety. I want to make sure I have a bunch of different things that can work for backgrounds, a bunch of different sizes. So I've got small, 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 larger, even larger, um, so that I have all different kind of sizes of prints as well. This one is just a really basic black and white polka dot, also from a paper pad from Heidi Swap. And this one kind of brings in some of those blues and purples. Not so much on this side, although it would kind of work with the pinks and corals. Um, this one is from Twilight called Flight of Moths, and I am intending on using this, because I think this with these blues that I have going on back here makes a really great contrast. And then I also pulled this Melody paper from Maggie Holmes Gather, not because I want this bright yellow necessarily, um, but because the blue in the music notes is a good fit with some of the blues that I already have going on. And I thought this with that would be a really pretty combo. So it's just giving me more options, more combinations. It doesn't have to work with every paper in the kit that I put together, but as long as it has things that it complements and works with. So everything there, that's going to be the papers that I am pulling from. And then I have those three embellishments that I started the kit off with. So my wood stickers, my ephemera, and my journaling spots. I am going to go ahead and add a couple of alphas and phrases. So I have this one from Hip Kit Leftover that is the blue that really matches with the blues in the Pink Fresh collection. So we've got that one. I grabbed the gold alpha, and this is actually from Indigo Hills too, so it's gonna bring in some of these gold elements that are in the embellishments that aren't necessarily in the paper. A way to tie that all in together. And then I grabbed these stickers, Hope and Dream, and these are from Chamel's Box of Crayons, um, but they're navy glitter, and so it brings in another texture with the same kind of color palette that I already have going on. So that's why those made the cut. And then I have a couple of stamp sets that I thought would complement everything that I have going on in my paper. <coughs> so see how I'm building off of, completely off of that paper that I started with. And now I'm bringing in different elements that are going to give me different textures and different layers. So from all to new, I grabbed the Freeform Greenery and it's the stamps and dies. And I thought this was kind of a good match for some of the leaves and vines and things that were going on so that I could possibly fussy cut these and layer them up with these to create even more dimension. So that gives me more options. And then I also grabbed this, it's Quotable Words, Stories by Stacy from Close to My Heart. And it just has some great phrases and some journaling spots, some arrows, things that are very versatile. And I don't have a lot of text elements going on yet, so that's a great add-in to include. And then I've grabbed some rub-ons from Twilight and this also kind of brings in that gold element. So it gives me some little things that I can add into my layers. Maybe I can even embellish on top of some of the flowers to bring the gold element onto my paper because these are rub-ons, so they're going to be flat. So that will bring that gold element that I don't have in my pattern paper. I've also grabbed some washi strips, and these are also from Close to My Heart. And they just kind of match with the collection. I want to use especially this rainbow, I think, with this. Because that is like a perfect match for the colors that are in there. And then I have just a few embellishments I have gathered up. So I have one of these little epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. This little pink heart is my only one left on this card. And it matches the color pink perfectly, so I want to get that used up. I also grabbed some wood veneer um, tropical florals, and these are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And so I'm gonna see if I can get those in there, maybe do some altering with mixed media. I also have two sequin mixes from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Uh, My Happy Heart, which was made to coordinate with the Indigo Hills 2 collection. And then I also grabbed Fallen For You, 
which has the wood veneer and then some of those same colors that I have been looking for. So I have those. And then I just grabbed some white kind of matte enamel dots because I have a lot of color going on in my embellishing. So I thought white enamel dots might work well. And then I grabbed some white crochet thread as well. Um, in case I want to do some tags and things. I know these packs have some things that look like tags already in them. So I definitely want some string in here to kind of go with my soft, fun color palette. And so that's going to do it. So those are going to be the main things that I work with for my Killa Kit videos this month. I am super excited to jump in and start working with this kit. And I would love to see if you put a kit together this month, what it looks like. And I will be back working with this kit, showing you what I come up with very soon. Bye, guys.